Hey guys, wanted to do a small update video on the Pulse Assisted Wind Turbine. Uh, so currently we have the, the Pulse Assisted Wind Turbine on the bottom. Uh, we now have dual car rotors. In between the car rotors are stacked magnets like this they're eight high 16 magnets per block to make a super magnet so there's six of these inside the rotor the magnets on top here are for the hole made switch we're gonna Add more to it. I'm about a third way through the build. So we got the original pulse turbine on the bottom. We've got the magnets in the middle. I've got the coils pretty much lined up with the big magnets. I'm gonna do six of these coils. There's two on it right now on each side. They're not connected at all. Uh, the final step, which I'm gonna try to do today We'll be taking the other wind turbine hub, putting it in there, get the second wind turbine mounted, rewire the stator in that to be in series like the bottom half one is. So... We can fire it up and run it real quick. When I get the timing and the switch working correctly and everything fires correctly the way it's supposed to, the motor runs unity for hours upon hours upon hours. Uh, the only time it seems to draw power from the system is when I'm getting a lot of misfires or if stuff happens. It'll just be running and like a relay, it'll want to stick sometimes. So let me hook the power wire up real quick. I'll probably have to adjust the timing to get the speed up on it here in a minute. The output caps slowly climb. As the current flows from the caps in parallel to the single cap, we get illumination from the light. When the output caps hit 20 volt, there'll be enough flow to get the charge controller to start charging. So we'll let the output caps come up real quick. The light's slowly getting brighter. The more flow between the caps, the brighter the light gets. It's almost to the charge. I hit 20 volt. It is now charging. The current run voltage is going to be 11.78. It's read 11.78 for four days straight of testing, probably 12 hours at a time. So no real loss. It'll it'll hover between 11.77, 11.78. Sometimes it charges back. We'll see if we can get it to go a little faster. It'll use more power, but the flywheels are roughly two car rotors and the magnets. The flywheel is roughly 50 pounds.
I believe I got the alignment pretty good on the two car rotors for riding true. It still is a little unbalanced. Let's see if we can get it to crank up. That's the best she's gonna get at the moment. Oh, thanks for watching, guys.